Hello explorers and welcome to another video. Today we are going to talk about DeepSeek. And DeepSeek is this new model that has been trained with open source. There is a bunch of contributors, a lot more than 20 contributors. It has been touted as a Chinese model, but there is a bunch of different contributors all over the world. So I'm not really sure that you can say that it's a Chinese model, uh, but it has been trained using Chinese models. So that is a different thing. But when we look at the specific model, it has been talked about that it's using a lot less resources. It's much better for uh, some, uh, for hardware that isn't that um, really heavy and so on. So it should be a better model for everyone uh, and better for the environment perhaps. Uh, and what they have done is that they have trained a model that is 671 billion parameters. So it's a really large model that requires a lot of memory. I tried to run it on our um, uh, one of our machines at work, which has an 8 6000 with 256 gigabytes of memory. And that was too little. And the, and the graphics card has 48 gigabytes of memory. And that was too little for that model. Uh, I guess that you could at least add the double the memory in order to run that model. Uh, but it's not really required, they say, because they have used that model in order to train other models that should be as efficient and as good. Um, and the way they have trained it, when you train it uh, using the um, OpenAI specific one, you have a particular set of training and then you do a lot of testing against that training and see that you don't get <laughs> the wrong result pretty much. So there you have a, a very large uh, set of rules and a really large set of um, ways of checking that the model is correct. And what they have done is not using their specific technique and gone more to the just reinforcement learning and giving the model more points for having a correct answer, of course, and also responding in the right way. So a way that is more visual and better for the consumer. And they have also baked in a thinking process and it's actually totally open, so you can look at it. So if we go over to my screen here, for instance, we can see that we have run DeepSeek uh, 32 billion par parameters and it has been thinking for five minutes and we can see what the thinking process has been and then it will give you an answer. So it first tries to figure out how to answer the question and then gives you an answer. So it's a little bit different and it's, it's very similar to how OpenAI does it as well, but they don't tell you about the thinking process and don't show the, you the thinking process. Um, and the way of training that model uh, has given a model that is a lot less resilient <laughs> because a lot of people have done things to the model in order to make it say things that it shouldn't and uh, it shouldn't be that secure and so on. So there is a bunch of those kind of concerns baked into this, but I wanted to see, can I run the model? I can't because <laughs> our best uh, graphics card with the amount of memory we have can't run the original model. So I can't really say anything about that model, how good it is, how bad it is. But they have said that they are using that model in order to train or improve, enhance models uh, based on other models. So the models based for the different smaller models is one Quen 2.5, Moth 1.5 uh, billion parameters, and Quen is Alibaba's model. So that's a model based in China. Uh, then you have Quen 2.5, uh, Moth 7 billion, uh, and then you have their Quen uh, 2.5, 
14 billions, 32 billions, and then you have the Llama Facebook model, 8 billion, and the Llama 70 billion Instruct. So those are the models that they have based their model on. So they have to take those and then fine tune them using their larger model in order to make them better. So that's the approach that they have given here. And what I have done is that I have downloaded both the original model and the deep seek model and tried to compare those two. I thought that that would be an interesting way to go about it. And what I've found when you ask program uh, programming questions, so I have this question on screen now, uh, I'm creating a grant statement for MySQL. Uh, we only need select and insert statements uh, on one specific table. What rights are required? And when I go through the answers from the different models, when it comes to the Quen models and the Llama models, they are actually better and more specific about the requirements, giving you tips and also helping you with creating this um, actual output. But the DeepSeek models are more terse, more to the point, which is some, uh, sometimes better, but in some cases it's just bad. Uh, so uh, if we look at the uh, one of them, uh, if you have DeepSeek, 1.5 billion, you see here that it hasn't really given me an, a specific answer. It's just giving me a bunch of uh, facts about how to think about this and how it works. And then I need to figure out by myself how to solve this problem, which isn't really that great. Uh, so the answer from the Quen model is much more uh, verbose and much more to the point and actually gives me great results even though it's only 1.5 billion parameters. So for programming questions if we look at the 70 billion answer it is pretty good. Uh, you get a lot of information, you get a lot of tips and uh, um, things to look into and so on. So DeepSeek is a good model for programming questions or for uh, tech related questions. But these models should be more generic, right? They should be able to answer anything. And I tried to have this tech related question, but I also asked it, how do I, in freestyle, when I swim, how can I uh, ha uh, train my breathing so I become a better swimmer? Uh, if I'm trying to learn to swim and I want to be better at breathing, how should I be thinking about it? And none of these models are really great, but I still think that the Quen model and the Llama model are way better than the Open uh, Deep Seek model. And when it comes to the 1.5 or even 7 billion model, they could be harmful because they give you really bad tips when it comes to swimming. So not good at all. Uh, and then I asked, how can I make really great pancakes? What's the best pancake re recipe? And when it comes to the Quen model, I got a, uh, when it comes to the Quen model here, um, I, or the Llama model in this case, uh, I only get a bunch of tips and tricks. So that is not really that great when it comes to pancakes. What, when I looked at the deep seek, you get a recipe that is very buttery heavy, but still you get a little bit of an in, uh, interesting take on how to create these pancakes and how to make them more engaging to kids and so on because I said I want to make a pancake recipe that is fun and interesting and inspiring to kids and it gives me some good tips but it's not really super great because if you look at the answer that ChatGPT gives me it first of all gives me a recipe that I could say works 
just fine, the ratios are correct the, and everything, then it gives me an, a way of mixing the batter correctly. Uh, I would have done it a different way, but this one works, I know. Uh, perfect to cooking, how to actually cook and so on. Pour one uh, quarter of a cup of batter, I think that is too little. Um, <laughs> the the uh, deep sea said two tablespoons, which I also think is too little to get great pancakes, but um, yeah. And then they give me tips for kids, how to spice it up and make it fun for kids and so on. And then extra tips, how to make it even more creative. So I would say that the answer from ChatGPT is way above the other models that you have locally for pancakes. And when it comes to freestyle breathing techniques, it has split it up in great different ways of thinking about it, different tips and tricks, how to be, get better, what you should focus on and so on. So it's way superior to any of these local models when it comes to more general questions. So when you have a programming question or anything like that, the local models are fine. But when it comes to more general questions, when you need answering of um, more uh, diverse questions, they fall flat really easily. And when it comes to DeepSeek, of course I wanted to try the pure full model, this 671 billion parameters, but as of taping, the server is too busy, please try again later. I was able to get one question through before I got this message, so it's not really usable at the moment. So I'm not really sure what the big hype is about. Maybe this website, when it actually works and when it's not too busy, it's mind-blowingly better than anything else. But at the moment, by the model that you download and the model that has been trained by this large model, I don't really see the point. Why not download just the original Llama model or Quen model and use those instead? They give you a much better answer on both swimming related questions and on uh, this uh, MySQL question. Much better answers, more consent. Um, the Quen model even got me some good tips that I could think about when I'm uh, swim. So I thought that it was really good. Then again, Alibaba is behind the Quen model. Maybe you have some uh, uh, some thought about that that you don't really like that it's a Chinese company. But this was what I wanted to cover today. I hope that you found this interesting. I hope that you learned something today. If you have any comments or suggestions, leave those in the comment section down below. If you want to support the channel, there is links to both donation and to uh, different affiliates in the description. So click on any of those. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do that. And I really hope to see you in the next video.